Hey guys, Chris Poor here, product manager for the Prism application suite here on the floor of Infocom 2016. We're excited to be back, excited to be showcasing some of the uh, new value and the capabilities of Prism's latest software package, formerly known as, uh, known as the application suite. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Prism Mobile. You may be familiar with our legacy-based display technologies, uh, both our LPD display walls and our LCD product that you see here behind me, and the feature set that we've been deploying for several years now onto these displays. We're excited to now translate that down to a fully zero-download browser-based mobile experience. So I'm running an iPad Pro today uh, natively inside Google Chrome, but uh, we've got a real-time experience. So user need only access a UR simple URL, log in with their existing user credentials that they've leveraged on our displays. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here real quick. And we're going to showcase just some basic capabilities. Um, obviously, bring your own device is a movement in the workplace. Users are continuing to bring new devices into the, the enterprise space, and we needed to support that. It's one of the reasons we're delivering Prism Mobile. So I'm actually, uh, when I'm presented, when I log in, I'm presented with a view of my projects that I've accessed over the period of the last few weeks and months. I'm actually going to select one. This happens to be the same project displayed behind me. And in a matter of a mere seconds, the content that was displayed on the wall is now available to me. I can interact with it. I can resize in real time. And I'm doing this over the public internet. So this device is actually connecting up through a public internet connection back down to a booth-based wired connection, serving each of the displays on the show floor. This is not smoke and mirrors. There's no local server that's making this magic happen. But the ability for a user in the meeting, before the meeting and after the meeting, to have access to the content, to be able to present file-based content, browser-based content, or live sources, and have access to that from anywhere at any time. So when I flew here on the plane, I was able to actually build out some of the presentation material we're using in the booth floor. I did it from 35,000 foot, dragged that content in. There's a simple files interface, the ability to bring in any supported file type, directly browse. I can even browse the, uh, the photos on my iPad here from my photo library and select a file and, and bring that into the experience. I don't need to, I'm not going to bring my own photo in today. But PowerPoints, PDF, Word documents, Excel documents, all those supported file types we've supported in the application suite are also available in mobile. The ability to then navigate between workspaces. So you know, this, this particular project has got almost 12 different workspaces. So I actually, from mobile, I'm going to demonstrate how you could take total control of a multi-room, multi-participant experience. When you open the participant panel here on the left-hand side, it slides open a panel. And at the top, there's the ability to enable follow me. What I'm basically saying when I enable follow me is we can take control. I'm now the host, and I'm controlling the experience of the other users. Now, I can close that side panel, and now any workspace transitions I make, I'm going to transition to uh, this different workspace, is actually going to take control of the wall. I didn't have to touch or interact with the display behind me. I've got full control, the ability to manipulate, annotate, bring content into view, enlarge it. I can select to be able to annotate. Okay, snapshot that or share that material directly from my device. So I'm just going to make some simple annotations. I'll grab a pen color. We'll use blue. And we'll kind of connect to the dots. And to have those annotations show up in real time. The ability to simply grab and, and erase those annotations and start over again. And the ability also to focus in on a specific piece of content. In a BYOD scenario, in Prism Mobile, it's a single user experience, whereas the application suite is designed for a multi-user experience with multiple users interacting. We've added some new functionality with focus mode to be able to zone in and actually drill in individually to particular pieces of content, Okay, be able to look at the details of a particular content without any change happening on the large display. Now, if I exit out of focus mode, so we'll go ahead and close that. I've now got the ability to then manipulate, flexibly resize, and move content. So whether I'm prepping my content, whether I'm coordinating in the, the middle of the meeting, whether I'm collaborating, or whether I'm simply presenting, I have the capability to move that content, check those boxes again at any time, from any place, all via Prism Mobile is a zero download experience provided only by Prism.